Hi guys, I'm Julia Charlie Book Fanatic and today I'm going to start my weekly reading vlog for week 15. This week I have again five books I want to read slash finish. I'll start with the book I started last week and I am planning on finishing tomorrow which is Tuesday because I'm obviously starting the vlog on Monday and that book is The Girl Who Fell by Shen M. Parker. This book is about a girl who gets into an abusive relationship, she falls totally in love with his guy who is new at the school and it's all going well at first but eventually it gets totally out of hand and she starts to realize that this guy is not good for her at all. And I'm actually really liking this book so far, I'm almost done with it obviously because I'm finishing it tomorrow. Um, but I, I had a relationship like the relationship that is explained in this book and it really hit home for me and um, it's really hard to read about. I'm going to, going to say that. if I'm going to give you a trigger warning for, um, for abusive relationships, for physically abusing, for manipulation specifically. Like, when I was reading this book, I felt like something was wrong with this guy from the moment he walked into the story. And I was reading this and I was like, get out, please, don't be stupid. See that this guy is doing so much wrong by you. Um... And at that point, I realized how my best friend must have felt at the point um, that I was in such a relationship. And I had the same thinking pattern that this main character has about this guy. And it was really eye-opening and I would recommend it to you for a really eye-opening and realistic experience of an abusive relationship. Um, that started out as perfect. The book I'm currently reading is a book I got from the library and I started, I think, yesterday, which was Sunday, obviously, so I am 100 pages in and it is Landmine by Rainbow Rowell. This is a book about a woman called Georgie McCool who is married to this man called Neil and Neil and his family were planning on um, on celebrating Christmas at his mother's house, but Georgie has so much work to do, she can't go, and her relationship with Neil was on the verge of collapsing anyway, so Neil goes away with their two kids to his mother's house, and Georgie stays behind to live on her own in their house and work the, all the way through Christmas, and that is how far I'm in actually, and Georgie um, calls uh, on this yellow phone she has in her old childhood house, she goes to visit her mother very often and she calls her husband on this yellow phone and she gets to speak to her husband in the past and I'm at a point that she doesn't really realize she's talking to her husband in the past but she thinks she's going crazy. And I have bad experiences with Rainbow Rowell's past novels like I think I've read all of them except for Kindred Spirits which is a short story Rainbow Rowell recently brought out and Carry On obviously I haven't read either um, but this is her only adult novel, I believe. The rest is young adult. And I think I like her adult writing more than I like her young adult writing. Because I like her stories, but I'm just not a big fan of her writing style. But so far, I can say I am enjoying this. Then I'm going to start Fuzzy Nation by John Scalzi this week. This is a science fiction story. I think it's military science fiction with a lot of law and court terms involved. I heard about this book on Katie like, Loves to Read. Katie's channel from Katie Loves to Read, we'll link her channel down below, and um, I had my eyes set on Fuzzy Nation for a little while already, but I wasn't really interested in it, and then I heard Katie talk about this book, and she said there was a lot, a lot of law involved, and I'm a law student, if you didn't know that, so that piqued my interest, and I wanted to read it. Then, the book we all been waiting for for me to read is Legends by Marie Lu. This is the first book in the Legend trilogy by Marie Lu. I have read her, the first book in her other series, The Young Elites, and I really like that. Um, I've like I have Legends on my shelf for a really really long time, but I've never started it or even tried to start it. Um, but I said on my TBR for this upcoming week, I really want to read it now and I'm going to give it a try and I hope I will like it. But I don't know, obviously, because it is dystopian, I believe. And I'm not the biggest dystopian or fantasy fan in general. So we'll see how I like it. I like the cover, at least. And if you don't know what this book is about, this book is about two characters called June and Day. And they might not, you might not expect them to intertwine parts, but June's brother, Matthias, gets killed by day at least he's the suspected killer um of her brother so 
that is how their parts intertwine and it's about their story together I believe and I think they fall in love I don't know but I, I'm guessing that um, they is not the real killer of June's brother otherwise that would be really messed up wouldn't it <laughs> and the last book I'm going to read this week is a book I have physically as well and I got in recently but I haven't talked about this book at all on my channel or even shown it anywhere not even in my most recent book haul um but I said on my channel that I didn't want to read the story necessarily but I liked but I would want to read retellings of it but I changed my mind <laughs> um when I saw this cover on my favorite website to buy books from which is a Dutch website um I needed to have it like this edition this edition is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen when I saw it like this I was like I need to have it this is the most beautiful book I have on my shelf and I like I do not regret reading this it's a short book as well so I should be able to finish it this week easily and look at the back of this like look at how pretty it is it says all children except one grow up do you believe um and then the inside it looks like this as so pretty like look at that so so pretty like I can't stop looking at it and it has these kind of pages and oh my god they even have they have other books in the series as well and I would only buy this book these books just for their covers like look at them they have them in Pippi Longstocking and The Wizard of Oz and I think I would like to read The Wizard of Oz as well especially with such a beautiful cover like i can't stop looking at this it's it's the prettiest thing i've ever seen if you don't know what peter pen is about it's about a boy called peter pen who goes to this house where three children live called wendy john and michael i believe and he takes them and they fly off together to neverland where they have loads of adventures i heard this book is really dark like darker than the fairy than the whole um disney uh, animation but I don't know how dark this is going to go but I am excited to find out and then read all of the retellings about it so this was my start of the vlog and we will go on with the week now so I will talk to you later hi I'm filming my reaction to the end of the girl who fell by Shannon and Barker <laughs> I'm crying. I am literally crying. I this book, like I said before, I this book hits it hits close to home because I had a relationship like the one that's described in this book. It didn't get as bad as the end of this book. It didn't get physically didn't get physical or anything like that. It was mostly manipulation. But this book like the end of the book i was so terrified for the main character i like there are people who are in these abusive relationships every single day there are other teenage girls who ex who have experienced the same thing as the main character in this book and it did go as far as physical abuse and someone making you feel like less than you are and someone diminishing your self-worth and your worth it your worth in general and someone trying to mark you as a territory and as as their property and i am a firm believer of not being anyone's property i will never ever ever be anyone's property and if if you're you're in a relationship and you notice that the other person is trying to mark you as their property like the saying things like you're mine you're nobody else's i wish you would hang out more with me and they're texting you through throughout the day and when you hang out with friends they're like no come hang out with me and they need to get out because that's not safe and Please read this book because I think I think every teenager should read this book. Like this is such a good warning. Like I recognized all of the warning signs in this book and I wish I had this book in my life sooner 
and I wish I would have read it then and then maybe I would have spared myself the hurt I have felt um so yeah I could recommend this book more like if you want a really serious book realistic fiction about a girl who enters into an abusive relationship and it's all well and good at the beginning of the relationship like this guy seems like the perfect guy and every and and they're in a really happy relationship, but it's not healthy, and the girl doesn't see it, but because she's so happy, she thinks it's her own choice to give up her friends, and because she wants to hang out with her lover all the time. But that's not okay. That is not something your lover should expect from you. Like, don't hang out with your guy best friend because he's jealous. He has issues with his jealousy. That is his fucking problem. You shouldn't You shouldn't give up your friendship with your guy best friend because the, the guy you're dating has a, a jealousy problem. Like, fix it. Do something about it. That is not your fucking... That is not your problem. <laughs> like, I... <sighs> Just this book frustrated me so much because the main character didn't see it. She didn't see for most of the book what was going on. And that frustrated me so much. But I also can see it now. I can see how this plays out every day with new people. And it's it's something to think about. And it's a book I won't forget soon. I'm sure of that. Hi guys. This is my first time ever wearing eyeliner and I don't know if I like it or not, but I think it looks good, I guess. Um, not that I have any knowledge of it, but anyway. I'm reading, I just came home because I did some things for school. It's Thursday today and I had my last exam today. Well, I needed to do something at home, but I went to the library to do it. And I get a grade for that, and I have to um, to hand it in tomorrow, so I will do that. And I just came home. I'm currently reading A Lent Line by Rainbow Rowell, and I am almost done with this. Um, not really. I am 250 pages in, and this book has, let me look for it, 350 pages somewhat, so I will finish this on Saturday because I read 50 pages a day. Um, I took this with me in my library bag but um, I didn't read at the library, I just wanted to go home and I also took Legend with me but I didn't read that either so I'm just going to read it at home and then I am going to start Peter Pan today and I'm also going to start another book today. What which I totally forgot which one it was, but you will probably hear me talk about it somewhere at one point this week. So yeah, look out for that. Hi guys, it's Saturday today and I'm going out for drinks in a bit. I really like my dress by the way, because I certainly do. Um, I haven't worn this dress a lot, like I have worn it I think two times in the last three years. Um. But yeah, I really like it, even though it's a bit short, but still, I really, really like to wear it. Um, so, what did I read today? Like, I'm still on track, I've been reading everything I needed to read this week, and I finished Landline by Rainbow Rowell today, and I really liked it. This is the first Rainbow Rowell book I actually liked. Like, you know, that's crazy. Um, I'm going to give this one four stars, I'm going to write a review for it tomorrow, because I'm going out for drinks in a bit, you know. Um, I don't have that much time. So I also just read 50 pages of Peter Pan, um, which still has a lovely cover, and I'm going to finish this one up tomorrow because there's 200 pages and I'm 150 pages in. Um, I'm trying to put this back, but it's not really working. I'm going to do that in a bit. And then the other book, I'm reading Legend by Marie Lu. Um, I'm this far in, like this is the ending, so I'm doing quite good now. I am 250 pages in, and this book has 300 pages, I believe, so I'm going to finish that one. Um, I think tomorrow as well, so that's really nice. I'm going to read 50 pages of Fuzzy Nation right now, and then after that I'm going out. Um, 
For the nation, I'm not going to finish tomorrow. I think I'm going to finish that next week because I started that one later, but I don't know for sure actually. Have to check on that. But I'm doing real good and I am. Um, I can't wait to read more. <laughs> so I just wanted to update you on my progress through the week up until now. Hi guys, it's Sunday today, so it's the end of the vlog. Um, I thought I would update you on my progress this week. So I finished Landline um, by Rainbow Rowell. I'm currently reading Peter Pan by J.M. Berry. Um, I'm going to finish this. Like I'm currently reading this. I have four. 50. I have 50 more pages to go. <laughs> I have 50 more pages to go and then um, I will finish this. Um, this is a lot different than I expected it to be, if I'm being honest. Like, Peter is one of the cockiest, most annoying characters I have ever read about. And it's a lot darker than I expected it to be. I really don't like any of the characters in this, but I really, really like this cover and this this edition. It, I just... <laughs> I can't dislike this book just because of the cover. Like, how shallow is that? Anyway, um, I read 50 pages of Fuzzy Nation today. I didn't read 50 pages of Fuzzy Nation um, by John Scalzi, by the way, uh, yesterday because I, I wanted to, to just chill before I went out for drinks with my friends. So I'm going to finish that next week i was already going to finish that next week but i am um, uh i'm going to finish it a day later but that's not a problem at all um and then i am also re still reading legend i don't know if i'll finish that today or tomorrow but uh it's on a bookshelf i don't have it with me but i will read 50 pages of that today and then I'll see if I will finish it or not. So that is what I read this week, what I finished this week, what I'm currently reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I think it's a really long one because I filmed a lot this week. I don't know why, but I just did. Um, so I will see what I actually filmed this week in a bit. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching anyway. Goodbye.